on the newspaper page It's love and tradition of the grand design Some people say it's even harder to find What's up, y'all? It's your girl T back with another video. How y'all doing today? Y'all doing all right today? How y'all doing today? How y'all doing today? I got my little wrap on because the fucking pink, the purple hair dye like gets all over my shit. <laughs> See? But anyway, um, how was y'all day today? How was y'all day? Today was crazy. I don't know if it was because it's a full moon or what but customers were just being rude like for no reason just rude hold on i just want to i just want to get you guys updated on what i'm doing my hair is purple these curls are all point today you feel me look at this man this camera is like the shit ain't it like fuck i got one little light on that's it that's it and it's three in the morning and i can't fucking sleep so three thirty i'm going to sleep at four probably five I'm probably going to sleep at 5 a.m. That's, that's what I'm going to do because I'm still fucking up. Oh, shit. I forgot how to play Fortnite. So, Fortnite has cars now. That's cool. That's cool. I'm gonna put you right there. So, I just want to keep you guys updated on what, what's going on in my life right now besides me doing absolutely nothing. Look how fat I'm getting. God, I'm getting fat. What the fuck? Y'all see how fat I'm getting? Oh, my Lord. And I'm not talking about my boobs or my ass. You feel me? <laughs> I'm a little tipsy or some shit, but like, um, like I was saying, I just want to guys keep you updated. I didn't react to no mellow videos lately because I've been crazy busy. Um, today was just crazy. Like the past couple of days was fucking crazy. Like, and then one of my friends that I went to high school with, um, we were best friends in high school and we reconnected, then disconnected, then reconnected and disconnected. She just found out that she died from COVID-19. So, like, I literally get a call. Because we were, like, unsavable. You guys, please wear face masks. Because <laughs> she was that type of person that was stubborn. Um, and she didn't tell anybody that she tested positive. She didn't even tell me. Like, because we just started talking again or whatever. And then we got into an argument. Um, because I'm stupid as fuck and I keep going back to my ex who keeps cheating on me with her ex-husband. So we were together three years. We were going to get married. Um, <clears throat> well, I was going to try to find my engagement ring, but it's over there. Um, so we were going to get married and then her, her ex-husband was texting her and showing up at, 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 at wherever we were, like her ex-husband would just show up nowhere and i'd be like and i'd be like who is that and she'd be like that's my ex-husband i'm like is that your ex-husband or is that your husband are you guys really divorced she's like that's my husband what are you talking that's my ex-husband what are you talking about bro i was like all right i believe you but he would text her all the time and he would show up and, and pick her up at 12 o'clock midnight now you supposed to be my fiance and we live together we we, we will kind of we kind of live together like i was over her house all the time like but what what she believed in is that like both of well, I guess both of us is like we don't move in with each other until we're actually married. It's just better that way. Um, that's just that's just how it, how, how it is. You know, you feel me? So <clears throat> we were good. We were doing good. Like we'd go about six seven months without fighting or any of that. We got into maybe three fights or like the honeymoon stage of our relationship. You feel me? So like we were doing good or whatever. And then me getting upset that her ex-husband was showing up at her house and fucking picking her up and fucking taking her where she had to be and shit. And like um, 
texting her and 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 he would come in and be like, "You're beautiful." We would run into him. And he'd be like, "You look good. Do you need some money? You good?" Check your charger connection. Why does my phone do that? Check your fucking charger connection. What the fuck does that even mean? Like I don't, I don't know. This fucking charger is annoying. This charger is hot. So anyway, <clears throat> so I'm like yeah. So um, I didn't like that. Now, now let me tell you something. She would get mad at me for talking to Donna again. Like me and Donna never dated ever. Donna was just a woman, and I had a huge crush on. Her. I still have a huge crush on. Her. And I will always be in love with Donna, but she's straight. I mean, my ex fiance was straight too, but like, <laughs> you feel me? I got that. I got that. You know, I got that charm. You know, I am smooth like butter, baby. I am smooth like motherfucking butter. Like, bitch, forget the toast. I am smoother than. I'm actually smoother than butter, bitch. I'm talking. I'm smoother than butter that you put on toast, bitch. You feel me? Like, yo. <laughs> I know, I mean. And I am cute and all, you know what I'm saying? I am good looking. I am handsome as fuck. I'm a handsome individual. You feel me? And I'm a ladies' lady. But, um, I changed my ways for, for, for this bitch. Like, I changed my ways for her. You feel me? Like, I literally changed my ways for her. Like, like no cap. Fucking, like, because, you know, after me and Amanda, Amanda, no, Taylor, fucking Taylor. Fucking Taylor ruined my fucking life. Like, fucking Taylor ruined my motherfucking life. Taylor is the reason why I don't... I, I told myself I will never, ever, ever fall in love again. Ever. And I made a promise to myself that I will never fall in love with no bitch. No straight bitch. No gay bitch. No bitch that had never been with a woman before. No, none of that bitch. So, like, my ch- the chick I was dating got married. I'm the only girl she's ever been with. <clears throat> that should have been a red flag right there. Like, bitch. Like... I don't know what it is about you, but you're the only girl I've been with. I love you. You're so beautiful and blah, 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 blah. And, I mean, I'm a gentleman. What do you expect? I'm handsome as fuck. I'm a gentleman. I'm a hopeless romantic, yo. As long as you're happy, I'm happy, baby girl. That's all it is. I'm single, by the way, now. So, um, to my straight girl crush, girl. 281-330-8000. Hit Mike Jones up on the low because Mike Jones about to blow. Eight six seven five. Mm-mm-mm. But anyway, like I said, you know. Oh, I gotta say, yo, I'm smooth like butter, baby. Smoother than butter, bro. I mean, I am the, I am just a hope. Yo, I be hearing shit. As fuck in my room. You hear that shit, bro? I just be hearing shit. And it's fucking three in the morning. Like, I need to go to fucking sleep. After I've been there out of Fortnite. I'm going to go to sleep when I finish my call. I'm just going to go to sleep. But like I said, so like, you know. We were good, and then we weren't good. Then we would be good, then we wouldn't be good, then we would be good. So we went a long time without fighting or whatever. And <coughs> then jealousy started kicking in, you feel me? I would get jealous because she was, like, she would have all these motherfucking men hit on her. Like, men wanted her so bad. Like, men loved her they loved everything about her like every man that i see when i'm with her they would all like hit on her shit up like bitch and then she she told me i need to stop talking to donna period when we were together she's like i don't trust you you need to stop talking to donna because you're like fucking in love with her and you're never gonna be with her and all and i'm like well in that case if i need to stop talking to donna bitch you need to stop talking to your ex-husband and having him text you and being sneaky shit about it. Like, fucking calling him at 12 o'clock at night to pick you up. And I'm me. And I'm supposed to be your fiance. You feel me? You feel me? You know what I'm saying? It's just... Okay, hold on. I'll be back for the next time. All right, my bad, y'all. I got distracted. You know. Got a call from a lady. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> These ladies. They give y'all up on me. Like white on rice. Like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I am getting so fat, like this is ridiculous. Like my boobage is big. <clears throat> my pants don't even fucking fit anymore. Cause it's damn quarantine. Had me eating and drinking all the time. The fuck? Can't even button my pants no more. There's my cat. <laughs> Literally. Oh, that wasn't my cat. Anyway. Um, alright, so anyway, hold on. So anyway, like I was saying, what was I talking about? Oh, I was talking about my fucking ex. So people want me. You feel me? Like she so like 
you know, this lady's older than me. Um, never go back to your ex, by the way. That's a bad fucking idea, bro. Like, and I thought I was in love, like I said. Well, I was in love with her, but she clearly didn't feel the same with me. She literally just fucking talked her way back into my life. And me being the idiot I am, I felt for it like a fucking dumb bitch. You feel me? Like, <laughs> bitch. Like, so, we were unstable. Like, she's fucking nuts. So, like, so she would be mad at me, right, for saying stuff like, your something's hot. I don't know where I left off, so I hope I am leaving off where I started or whatever. So, you know, she, people kept saying, she's going to chill you again, bitch. And she did. But, um, let's see. We were talking about her ex-husband, right, or something like that. So anyway, that's the girl I was dating recently. So I wanted to give her another chance because she like, you know, talked her her sweet talk or whatever the fuck you call it. Talked her sweet talk, talked her way back up in my life. Like like I like she always does because I'm in me being so kind and loyal, bitch. I forgave that bitch. Like, okay. But no, not no more. Not no more. Hold on, let me see where I left off. First of all, I was saying we'd be good, then we wouldn't be, then we would be. And it's that's true. We'd be good, then we wouldn't be, then we, would, then we wouldn't be, then we would be. You feel me? Like, it was like an a ongoing thing. But, like, what I look at is love is just like, so I know sometimes you got to let them go. But this time I think was a final straw because um, I know that she really never loved me at all. And I should have listened to all my friends that told me, bitch, you don't deserve that. Like, you deserve better. You deserve way better. You deserve someone that's going to treat you like a fucking princess but or treat you like a king. Let's see. Treat you like a fucking king. I can't find like women. Some women, women are just as bad as boys in some sort. Like seriously, especially fucking bisexuals, man. No offense to y'all, but y'all always go back. Well, not all of you, but most of you guys always go back to the dick. Like let's be real. But she, I was the only girl she's been with, so I'm like that was a red flag right there. But I fell in love with her. Like it was like love at first sight, and I tried so hard. She was very, she was very stubborn. She always played hard to get. Like, this girl was a bitch. Hold on. Clearly, I'm getting ready for work. I gotta work at three, but I'm about to, like, binge watch something and I don't wanna rush and watch it. But, you know, it took me so long to get her to, like, fucking open up to me and shit. Like, I tried so hard, let me tell you. I tried so hard. I would talk to her every fucking day and she would be like, mm, uh, mm, or ignore me when she was around other people. Like, she would ignore me when she was around people that she knew. You feel me? So. <clears throat> it, and then I finally, I finally, I, I just kept buying her. She, she would get mad too when I buy her shit. She would be like, why are you fucking buying me shit? Stop. Stop fucking buying me shit, damn it. And then she would go talk to her, like, family members and shit about it. And fucking, I'm so, she keeps buying me shit. I'm getting sick of it. What the fuck's wrong with her? So I said, wow, okay. I won't buy you shit no more. And what did I end up doing? Buying her shit. <laughs> I'm buying chocolate and shit too. <laughs> Putting chocolate in her fucking mailbox and shit. And she'd like, oh. she'd roll her eyes like a bitch. <laughs> and I don't know what I did. Oh, you know what I did to finally open up to her was like, there was like a fight between, I don't know, something had happened. And we, we had, she needed to ride home. I don't know, something happened. And like, we, 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 we connected. We connected. And we talked on a personal level. And I'm just like, dude. So I got drunk, right? So we, we started talking, talking. Um, she was still playing hard to get, but my, the way I, you know, I'm smooth like butter, baby, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, was, I got the ladies. Like last night, these cuties from the beauty pageant came in. One was from Indiana, one was from Ohio, and I was just like, girl, I was just like, I don't need a girl that looks like Paris Houghton. And there was a blonde girl, and she did this with her hair, and she's like, hmm? And I was like, ah, I see you, I see you, Becky, with a good credit. I see you, Becky, in a... Becky in the beauty pageant, well, she, you know, I was like, you were hot. So if she has the same name as somebody else that I cannot stand. And this girl has a crush on me and is obsessed with me and is a fucking crazy ass stalker bitch. She has the same name. So I was just like, I'm attracted to girls. And, and, and I'm not going to say the name, but they had the same exact name. So I was like, I'm attracted to girls that look like Paris Hilton, not girls that look like, I don't want to say this without being insulting, not a girl that look like Godzilla. <laughs> And she's like, you guys can come to mine. You can be my guest. I do have three guests. And it's Saturday. So I'm like, baby girl. Time and place. Time and place. So we switched numbers. She was hot. Like, she's fucking beautiful blonde hair. Very cute and bubbly. I'm just like, bro. I'm single now. What about you, girl? You single? Call me. Call me, baby. Anyway. So, <laughs> so like I was saying. So I tried so hard to fucking get with this chick that I was dating. 
Um, and I was doing everything. And then finally we connected. I think we had like a conversation or something. Or somebody started talking shit about us. You know, somebody tried to turn us against each other. And um, that's when it all began. When we started getting closer and closer and closer. We was laughing and shit and smiling and having a good old time. Um, getting to know each other on a better level. And then one night I got drunk. And we, I was like, let's go see so-and-so. To one of my ex-best friends who is no longer my best friend. Because she's a dumbass, fake-ass, snake-ass bitch. Period. Point blank. That's why I don't have that many friends. They fake, they fake, they fake, they fake, they fake, they fake. I got three friends at work that I can call my true friends and like two friends at home. That's it. But you know, the crazy thing is the three friends I have at work treat me better than the friends I've had for the longest time. Like no cap. Like, anyway. <laughs> so, <clears throat> this purple shit's all over my fucking, I hate this, t this, per this fucking temporary guy shit is annoying. Or semi permanent, it's semi permanent. But anyway, so yeah, so we finally got, we finally got along. So then one day I got drunk, right? I got drunk and wasted. I wanted to get go see her. So I was talking to my friend, like, let's go see so so, let's go see so so. So it was on Valentine's Day, right? Valentine's Day. She made me nervous too. She made me so fucking nervous. Let me tell you, I, that's how I knew I was in love with her. She made me feel so nervous and butterflies in my. It was a great feeling in the world before I found out that she's a fucking conniving, lying, backstabbing, cheating bitch, <laughs> whore. <laughs> so what? Skank. Dumbass motherfucker. Life ruiner. Fake ass bitch. Oh motherfucking denture wearing motherfucker. Anyway, sorry. I got Tourette's, my bad. <laughs> but anyway, so I went on Valentine's Day, right? I went there on Valentine's Day and I proposed to her with a ring pop. I told her I was in love with her. I was drunk, told her I was in love with her, and I proposed to her with a fucking ring pop. I have no idea where I got this ring pop. No clue. I just remember getting a text from her the next day saying, do you remember what you said to me last night? And I was like, no. And she was like, well, I'm just going to let you know that you told me you were in love with me. And I was like, oh, I was drunk. She's like, yeah, but you know what? A drunk man's words is sober man's thoughts. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. I see you. I see you. I see you. So, um, anyway. So after that, we... You know, she let me take her on a couple dates. We got to know each other. We were talking, hanging out all the time, you know. Like, we were just having a good-ass time. And, um, we decided to make it official after three months. <laughs> like, for real, it was three months. That's how long we waited until we made it official. We were just seeing each other and, like, hanging out and dating. Um, so I didn't, I don't know if she was waiting for me to do it or, if, uh, it was like she was waiting for me to ask and I was waiting for her to ask. But since I'm, like, you know. Me, I was like, yo, can you, do you want to be my girl? <laughs> Straight up. I was drunk when I said it though. And she's like, yeah, I was waiting for you to ask. I was like, so you're my girl now. A day later, will you marry me? <laughs> like, I swear, I'm not even, I'm not even lying, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just like, like literally, but maybe a week later. Because we were hanging out with each other. We were so new. And we were so deep in each other's love. Like, we were so fucking in love. We were, like, happy as fuck. Like, you know, the honeymoon stage. The first few months of the honeymoon stage, yo. So, a year passed by. Uh, we were... I did ask her to marry me after, like, three months. Like, we proposed to each other. It was crazy because we went on a date. I think we went on, like, the... some. The, we went on some... We went on a, a boat ride. Like, a fucking... Yeah. A boat ride or whatever that they have in Ohio that rides along Lake Erie at night and, and has drinks or whatever. So we were outside looking at the water, like, like, and I was like, let's, let's, let's re, let's re, recreate Titanic. So I was like this and she was, you know, doing the thing or whatever. I wasn't doing it because I don't want to fall off the boat. I didn't want to fall off the boat. I should have pushed her ass off the boat. <laughs> I'm just playing. So, um, yeah, and then I was like, um, I bought her another drink and a, and a bottle of wine and like, I guess <clears throat> I bought her some, like we were hungry too. So we got like food cause they had food on the boat also. And I put the ring in her thing and she did the same thing. She put the ring in an empty white claw can. I have no idea how she got the ring in there. Not white claw. Uh, it was something else. It was a, it was a 40. I don't know what the fuck it was, but it came out and I was like, holy shit, we just proposed to each other at the exact same time. And that's when we know, yep, this is meant to be, it'll be, it'll be, baby, just let it be. So why don't you ride with me, ride with me, see where this thing goes. That was our song. That was going to be our wedding song. And it didn't 
clearly didn't work. So yeah, we were um, engaged or whatever, and we had a good time. We went home and made love for the first time. It was incredible. <laughs> it really was. Um, so we started dating more. We got deeper, deeper in love. And then this is when all the drama happens. Her fucking ex came in the picture. She's texting her fucking ex-husband. Blah, 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 blah. There's nothing going on between us. He's my ex for a reason. We divorced. But yeah, he's coming to see you all the time. He's fucking picking your ass up. He's texting you and shit. You giving him shit. He's giving you shit. He's giving you money. What the fuck you mean, bitch? And I know when we were dating, he came around and he gave her a hug when I was there. And I was like, <sighs> and she looked over like she was, she was upset. Yeah, bitch, you better be, you fucking bitch. What you mean? What you mean? What you mean, nigga? What you mean? What you mean, nigga? Fuck. So anyway, I'm gonna put my hair stuff back. Hold on. <clears throat> this lighting is so good in the bathroom. That's why I'm in here. So, um, she's like, oh. I was like, oh, you got caught. Fuck you. And I left. <laughs> I'm like, fuck you, bitch. I left. And then she's like, no, I'm, there's nothing going on between us. Why don't you believe me? And we and I broke up with her. Wouldn't you, bitch? Your ex-husband is coming up and hugging you and shit in front of your fiance, bitch. What the fuck? Don't look. And you looked at me like a guilty conscience, bitch. What the fuck? And I was right. I had a gut feeling, but I was just like, maybe. People are like, she's planning, man. She's planning. If her ex-husband is still texting you and shit, they're still fucking. And I was like, no, they're fucking not. Well, you're the one that said it. I'm like, they're not, okay? I was in denial because they, they really were fucking behind my fucking back. <laughs> and I forgave her again and 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 the fucking again. Yeah, she wanted me to stop hanging out with somebody I had a question who I had no chance in life with because this woman is completely 100% straight. 100% straight. This this woman was 100% straight. 100% straight. Has a boyfriend. Wants to marry. Some, the, the male is going to move to Ohio to be with her. And, and they broke up. When they broke up, I was like, oh. But um, this was my old job. Like, it was, you know who it was, fucking Donna. <laughs> but anyway, I'm like, yeah, but like, I, I, I have no chance in hell. Well, how do you know? I was straight before I met you, and I was like, whatever. She's like, okay, fine. You stop talking to Donna. I'll stop talking to my ex husband. I was like, absolutely not. Because that's your ex husband. Donna is a friend, a straight friend who I have a crush on, who has a whole boyfriend. She's straight. Or by, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hold on. So, hmm. my allergies have been fucking up my like food. You guys have bad allergies? So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I was like, whatever. It's cool, whatever. So then she kept blowing me up. She was crying and shit. And, and she had her little friends call me on my phone saying, listen, this this woman's crying over you. Go talk to her. Listen. And we, I said, fine, whatever. We met up. I, we, we talked. And I was like, let me see your phone. She's like, okay. She said, let me see your phone. Innocent text. And I was like, okay. Sorry. They are one word of text. But I guarantee she probably deleted them shits. Or she had them on private text. She she has an iPhone. And I know them fucking iPhones be having like fucking people cheating on their husbands and wives because they got that secret motherfucking text and shit. You know. So. <clears throat> so, yeah. I was like, okay, whatever. I forgave her. We went out. We kissed and made up. Fucked and made up. Actually, we fucked and made up. <laughs> like, for real. <laughs> and we were back together again. Having a good old time. And then it happened again. A couple months later, and I was like, here we go again. But I said, I'm going to wipe it off. She said, there's nothing going on. You can't have a relationship without trust. So, um, she was like, that's correct. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. Nothing's going on. Everyone swore up and down that nothing was going on between them. Everybody. Like, even her family members. Even her daughter. Said nothing's going on. And I was like, well, of course you're going to say that. That's your mom, honey. She's a little 16-year-old girl. She's gonna stick up for her mom. She, she, you know, you're 16. You're gonna stick up for your mom at 16. You know that, your mom. What the fuck? So, um, I was like, okay, whatever. But when she said, yo, she's fucking crying, you dumb idiot. Again, stop making my mom cry. I'm like, well, tell your mom to stop fucking her ex husband behind my back. Because <laughs> she was. And I just proved it right. Because she, you know, finally admitted to it. And then she had this other nigga all up on her. Like, bitch. Like, this nigga was in love with my girl. Like, he was light-skinned, whatever. Every time they would see each other, they'd be flirting. And, and I would try to talk to my girl. And I'm like, bitch, do you hear me talking to you? Like, you got him some... For I don't even want to go into that bitch. I don't want to go into it because I'm just mad. You know what I'm saying? But this, this dude was in love with her. And then, oh, oh my God. And then, oh... This man is in love with her, took her home one night, and she didn't call me her girl. 
her fiance. She called him at midnight, but didn't call me. Bitch. More brownie points, more red flags. But did I break up with her? No, because I was stupid, dumb, and thought I was in love. Well, I was in love, but she wasn't clearly. She was using me for some fucking reason. I don't know. So, um, look at him curl, baby girl. So anyway, <clears throat> again, let's not get into that shit. You feel me? But uh, this dude was obsessed with her. Where my girl at? Where my friend at? Bitch, what? So he's like, so we were hanging out somewhere, and we saw him. We saw him, and he's like. I took her home last night. My friend home. I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? What? You you did what? You did what? You what? So she was like, oh. I'm like, oh, bitch. <laughs> bitch, you got caught, bitch. You got caught. Like, you got fucking caught, bro. You got caught. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would you call him and not me? I thought you were sleeping. Bitch, you know them why I'm going to sleep at no fucking midnight, you stupid bitch. I'm either up or at fucking work. Well, I was not working night shift at the time, but bitch, I was up. You know I don't go to sleep until like 2 or 3 in the morning, bitch. You just didn't want to call me because you were fucking sucking his dick or something. You feel me? Fucking straight women. She's like, you think I'm going to have something going on with everybody? And I'm like, but these men are in love with you. You're telling me not to talk to my friend. My friend who's fucking 100% straight and is in a relationship with a whole dude. And who she talks about how much she loves him. And this guy talks about how much he's in love with you and you call him to pick you up instead of me. All right, whatever. I'm, I'm not going to trip. I'm not going to trip. Red flag right there. But still, did I fucking listen? No, because I thought I was in love. <laughs> so, let's fast forward to today. So, we finally broke up. We finally broke up. February 14th, 2005. No, February 11th, 2020. We finally ended it off. So all the shit was pissing me off. And it, I just had enough. But she told me, though, she messaged me before this, before the final time before we broke up, she messaged me, I have something to tell you. I was like, oh, fuck. She's like, um, Sean kissed me. And I enjoyed it. I was like, anything else you want to tell me? Um, I did sleep with my ex-husband. And I'm like, oh, so you're fucking, you're admitted to being a hoe. Pretty much. She's like, no, I don't know. I will never do it again. I'm like, she's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, when did it happen? Happened so and so, 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 you were right. When he picked me up, we did have sex. And I was like, and her ex-husband knew what was up. Because every time we would be around, he would just steer the fuck out. So I was like, all right. Okay. Anything else you want to say, Tally? Anything else? You done? Anybody else? You, you done, Tally? You done, Talitha? Are you? Are you done? She's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, have a nice life. Walked out. That was the last conversation I've had with her for a couple of months. Okay. Until recently. And until recently, you feel me? Um, but like, I didn't talk to her. February was the last time. She was calling me. Her 16 year old daughter was calling me. Her son was calling me. Her fucking dogs were calling me. Her cats were calling me. <laughs> like, the birds were calling me and shit. I was just block, 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 block. Ignore, ignore, block, 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 ignore, ignore. She finally took a hit. And then I got a new job that I had only worked there for a little bit. I hated it. And she came up in there and I was like, to buy her little whatever the fuck she was smoking. Tally used to smoke this crazy shit. I don't know. Um, she used to smoke the craziest shit, like dumb shit. Um, so, <clears throat> holy shit, this fucking died on me wrapped up. So anyway, <clears throat> I saw her and I was just like, she's like, ah, I didn't know you worked here. I thought you worked at the other one. And I'm like, she came up to me and just gave me a hug. Like, grab me, just gave me a hug, and I was like, thanks. And she was hugging me, and she's like, I miss your smell. And I was like, what? <laughs> you fucking psycho, you miss my smell. What do you mean you miss my smell? What the fuck are you talking about? Like, uh, okay, whatever. I miss you too. Have a nice life. Come on, buddy. Well, my cat wants to come in here. He's scratching at the door like a fucking cat. What? You hear him? What's the matter? What's the matter? You gonna hear me on damn cat? He mad yes. So anyway, um, like I said, so um, she's like, I miss you. I really do. And I'm like, okay. I haven't talked to my ex husband in, in a long time. I'm like, I don't care. Have a nice life. But then I was just like, damn. In my head, I was like, damn, I miss her. I just want to kiss her, but I can't. 
Because she's a fucking whore and she cheats on me and she probably still cheating on me and just still lying. She's a whore and a liar and a user and an abuser, just like Taylor. But anyway, let's not get into Taylor. <laughs> you feel me? So anyway, um, so we stopped talking. We still didn't talk after that. We saw each other. And, I, and then she started coming in there all the time. Like, I'm just like, oh, for fuck's sake. She started coming there like all the time. Like all, all, all the time. <clears throat> so... Um, we finally, she's like, can I just, can we just go out to lunch or something? I just really want to talk to you. And I'm like, fine, whatever. But this was, I did, but I never went. I never went. Oh, then recently, a couple months ago, she reached out to me again. I saw a Facebook post and she posted something. I was creeping. I took her off my friend list, but I was creeping. Like, if I take you off my friend list, it's only temporarily. <laughs> well, if I like you. If I don't like you, it's not going to be temporary. It's going to be full time. Anyway, so... Um, she was really, she, her post was like something, I don't know. Somebody said that she was drinking all the time. She started smoking again and she all she talks about is she misses me and she regrets it. Give her another chance, only fine, whatever. So we met up and we talked and my dumb ass got back together with her recently. And guess what? Guess what? I'm dumb because she cheated on me again. <laughs> she was still fucking seeing her husband. Oh, and her boyfriend. So. So. Um, I was like, whatever. I let it go. I just never, I never called her, like, started ignoring her. And then, well, I broke up with her. And then, a month later, we got back together recently. Like, we got back together, like, last, last week. Two weeks ago, or something like that. It was, like, two weeks ago, or whatever. And I'm stupid. I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, guys. You don't have to yell at me. You don't have to, you don't have to lecture me. I know I was stupid. And I'm, I'm this is the last draw. Like, she's literally blocked from everything. Like, I literally called T-Mobile and say, block this number so I will not call it. Yes, Butterball? What's wrong? Huh? What? So, up to recently, yeah. So, um, you know, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Like, it, I tried to give her another chance. Uh, she didn't do anything really my knowledge because we were good and um she would always let me look at her phone she would always she, I, she gave me her password and every time she was checking somebody or calling somebody she would let me know or put on speaker recently but something just didn't feel right you know i'm just like i'm sorry but it's not the same it's really not like it's not that love i had that i once had for you is gone because you betrayed me so many times and <clears throat> And this time she she did everything right. I mean, she proved me wrong for a little bit. A little bit. That's, I don't know how long I was going to go on. But she did prove me wrong for a little bit. But I still wasn't feeling it. I was just like, you know what? So, like, we were hanging out or whatever. And that spark wasn't there. Like, it used to be. Like, it just wasn't. I'm just like, I'm just like, I don't love you. Or I don't, I love you. I will always love you. But I'm not in love with you anymore. I realized. Because I found someone better. You know, and I deserve to be treated better than that. And I don't know what it was, but something, like, literally got into my head. Like, something just, like, told me, bitch, you're fucking dumb as shit. Like, she's just gonna hurt you again. So we were back together for a little bit. And then I was like, I'm sorry, we gotta talk. She's like, I didn't do anything wrong. What did I do? And I'm like, no, you didn't do anything wrong. You did everything right. But I'm just not feeling anymore. And if, because you, you hurt me so many times and you, you betrayed me so many times, it's just like, I got fed up. That final time was it. it. I got fed up. I tried to make it work, but it just, I, I couldn't. I tried. I did try. I tried for a, a month. She's like, like a month, I think. I tried. Oh, no. Yeah. No, it's August now. So July. I tried. July. All of July. I tried all of July. I really did. I just wasn't feeling it. So. <clears throat> Called it quits. And guess what? She's got a whole boyfriend now. Like, you, you know? She's got a whole boyfriend. So I, I did the right thing. So that's what's going on with that. Somebody messaged me, asked me what happened with your girlfriend. And I'm just like, you know, I was, so I'll find someone who treats me better one day. But right now, if you're single, call me unless you're straight or bisexual. I mean, if you want to call me, you're straight, bisexual, go ahead. But like, <laughs> you feel me? I, I might wake up next to you and shit. You know, you might get pregnant from me. You feel me? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to end this video because it is 23 minutes long. I hope you guys watched the whole thing. If you did, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, and that's it. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.